Hi, today I'm going to talk about the conflicts of the world, be it Ukraine and Russia, and now Israel and Gaza and the Hamas. I'm currently in the Middle East myself, and so I'm a little bit in the center of the conflict, uh, away from the fighting, but uh, very present to the conflict. And I'm listening to the Arab world point of view. I am listening to the Jewish point of view. I have Ukrainian friends. My nephew is married to a Russian person. So I a little bit feel like the United Nations. But I wanted to talk today about the absolute impossibility to resolve any of those conflict from the place that is currently the global view of the world, meaning people take sides. If you listen to the media and the internet, they are pro-Russian, pro-Ukrainian, pro-Palestinian, pro-Israel, and then the conflicts persist and persist and persist. Right? And it really doesn't make sense. In spite of your sympathy, in spite of the horrors that some commit on to the other one, if you go back far enough in history, you can actually justify any party's action. You know, the Jewish and Arab conflicts dates back to the writing of the Quran. So it is impossible to resolve those conflicts with positions, judgments, evaluation, and creating anyone as an enemy will only have the conflicts persist. So the solutions to those terrible, heartbreaking conflicts are not political. They're not financial. They're not logical. They're not social. They're not economical. They are spiritual. The only way we will create a new culture for humankind, a culture of peace and altruism and love, is when you will remember who you really are and that the background of your life, the very fabric of the universe is love and oneness. It is when we will recognize ourselves in each other's, when the well-being and the health and the happiness of another human being will be a priority for us, whoever they are, whatever the color of their skin, whatever their religion, their principle and ideals when the world will awaken to love, then we will stop killing little children. So in these terrible conflicts that we're dealing with right now, see if you can give up your judgments, your evaluation, your position, and take a stand for love. It doesn't mean that somebody doesn't have to bear the consequences of the action. But remember, there is never one bad party and one good one. The responsibility is always a hundred, a hundred. The world needs to awaken. And I thank you for listening to this video because I know you're looking for it please comment and like, but I would really appreciate if I don't get attacked while I talk about peace. Okay. <laughs> so please refrain from vomiting anger and rage at what I said. If you want to talk and comment, I really welcome it in a loving, calm manner even if you disagree with every word I said. Okay, please like and comment. Thank you very much.